How's it going guys? Welcome back to this exciting series where we are implementing a production level authentication system using Django, React, and Redux. All right, so in the last section, we basically left off with something that looks like this. So we did the home page, made it look a little better. We did the login page and we made it so that you can actually log into the application. So my plan for this section is to implement the functionality to reset your password. So before I get into all this, I just wanna quickly go into the simple JWT documentation here. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for this, but something I wanna do is make it so that the access and refresh token um, lifetime is a little bit longer since maybe if you were playing with this app, you might've noticed that the um, expiration is not very long for the access token, so you don't stay logged in very long. So we're gonna fix that here. Um, so I'm gonna go into the settings here. And then right here, there's these two lines of codes, right? Or two lines of code right here. So this access token lifetime and refresh token lifetime, I'm just gonna copy those. Go back to my application, open my backend here and go into my settings.py file. And then I'm just gonna wanna find where the simple JWT, um, I guess like header is. So right here. And then right below that, I just want to paste these two lines and I want to change this to be like 60 minutes, say, so the access token will last for an hour. And let's fix the indenting here. There we go. And then another thing I have to bring in this time delta. So I'll do that right here. So from date time, import time delta. There we go. Also, I have my front end and my back end running so that I can just see if anything goes wrong and keep tabs on what I'm doing. So, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is go into the front end here. I'm gonna work in this auth action. So right now I wanna make, um, I guess, an action for resetting, or I'm sending an email to request a password reset. And then I'm also gonna want a function for actually doing the password reset itself. So I actually have the Joser documentation here. So if you remember to reset a password, we're hitting this endpoint here. And then this right here is going to do the like request. It's gonna send us an email. And then all we're passing in is the email. And then for the password confirm, we're hitting this endpoint here, passing in all this data. So just a little refresher as for what we're gonna be trying to accomplish with these two actions. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna open up this types here and I'm gonna create four new types, one, two, three, four, there we go. So one of them is going to be, let's say, password reset. All right, then one of them is gonna be fail, one of them is gonna be success. And then actually these ones are gonna be kind of similar, so I'm just gonna copy and put them here. And then I'm going to do password reset confirm. So password reset confirm fail and password reset confirm success. So these are gonna be the types that we have here. So just gonna bring them in. And what's going on here? Authenticated fail has already been declared. Oops, so let's go ahead and remove that right here. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna bring those new types I just created right into here. There we go. So we have all the types we need. And let's see, where could I do this? Maybe right below this login, I can start working on the first um, action here. So we're gonna have export, or export const rather, and then reset password. And then all we're passing in here is an email because if we go back to the documentation, that is all we need to pass here into the request. So email, Oop. there we go. All right, so we're gonna have to have one of these configs here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put that in here. And then all we need to do is content type application JSON. So this one's fine. We're gonna need const body, json.stringify and we're gonna stringify the email here. And then we're gonna do our request. So we're gonna need our try catch. And then within this try here, I'm gonna have const response. Actually, I don't even need to do response. I can just do, 
Oh, and that also reminds me, what am I doing here? So I need to have async dispatch. There you go. Because we're going to be dispatching. And then I'm going to have await axios.post. And then I'm going to just copy this here. And then paste that right into here. And then, and then the API uh, request we're making is auth slash users slash reset password, which is exactly what you see here. Users reset password. All right, and then we have to just pass in the body and, and the config. There we go. And then we're just going to do our dispatch. Dispatching the type of password reset success. And then if anything went wrong, then it's going to dispatch a fail. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to go into the, where is it? The reducers now. I'm just going to bring in these same um, dispatch types that we created. Just going to put them right into here. There we go. And then as for these dispatches, they're not actually going to change the state or anything. So um, basically, I'm just going to have them all be, let's say, at the bottom here. So case, uh, let me just paste them in here to make this easier. So password reset success. And then case, password reset fail. So like technically, like this wouldn't even have to be done through uh, Redux. It's just, I guess, nice to see like the different dispatch types happening. So that's kind of why I'm doing it like this. And then of course the state is going to remain the same. So that's all you need to do with the reducers. So I'm just going to go back quickly in case you missed that right there. All right. And then back into the actions here. Let's make our last action. So that's going to be export const reset password confirm. This is going to take the UID. It's going to take token, new password, and re new password. And this is going to be an async dispatch. And then this should be const. There we go. All right, so the config is going to be the same as right here. There we go. And then we're going to have the body. So I'm just going to grab this one, paste it in here. And then we're going to have UID, token, new password, and re new password. And then I'm going to grab this here. Could have just copied the whole thing, honestly. So there it goes. So we're going to have an axios.post. It's going to go to reset password confirm. So auth users reset password confirm. And we're passing in the body and the config. And then this right here is going to be confirm. And there we go. So just to go over this again. So users reset password confirm. So that is the endpoint we are hitting. All right, so now let's actually use these actions. So I'm going to go ahead and open up, where is it? Reset password and reset password confirm, because these are the two we're going to work on. And I'm also going to open up this login. Since both of these are going to be kind of similar to this login, I'm just going to literally copy this whole login and just paste it right into this reset password. I'm going to call this reset password. Oh, I think I spelled that wrong. Password, there we go. And then right here, we're not going to need any map state to props. So I'm just going to have this as null. Then this I'm going to do in a little bit. So we don't need link. We're going to have reset password. And then I'm going to bring that in here. So reset password. We only need email here. And then another thing I'm going to do is have a const of request sent. So it's going to be a piece of state here. So set request sent. 
And then basically when this is true, it's going to redirect us. So instead of this is authenticated, I'm going to have request sent. And then within here, I'm going to have reset password, pass in the email. Ooh. And then I'm going to do set request sent to true. And then this basically when we do the request, oh, I also have to get rid of this. So when we do the request um, password reset, then it's going to um, redirect us to the home page. And then also at the bottom here, I'm going to need to bring in reset password. I don't need any of this. And I don't need this. And then this is going to say reset password. Don't need this. And then instead of signed in, I can do something like request password reset. All right, let's see how that looks. So reset password, request password reset. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into here. This is gonna be confirm. And then this is also gonna be confirm. All right, and then this one's going to be a little bit different. Again, I'm going to um, have this request sent thing. And then the function that we're bringing in here is going to be the password reset confirm function. And then that's what we're going to be calling here. So password reset confirm. And then we're also going to have to bring in a few more, actually just one more thing. So match I'm going to need. And that is because right here, I'm going to have to grab the UID and the token from match.params. So I'm going to have const UID is equal to match.params.uid. And I'm just going to copy this down here. And then I'm going to have the token. And this is going to come from params token. And then we're going to pass in all these values. So the UID, we're going to have the token. We're going to have new password and re new password. So this new password and re new password, I'm going to have to do right now. And then I'm just going to remove this. We're going to have instead of email. So what I'm going to need is in here, I'm going to grab this password one. And I'm going to put that in here. And I'm just going to paste that down in here as well. And then I'm just going to have to change some of this up a little bit. So this one's going to be new password as the placeholder. And then I'm going to have confirm new password. So type is going to be password. That's good. Then the name, this one's going to be re new password. And this one's going to be new password. That's good. And then I'm going to have new password, re new password. And then I guess this can be something like reset password. That's probably fine. And then in here, I'm going to have new password, re, oops, re new password. And then in here, new password, re new password. And all right, that should be good, I believe. So let's Reset password is not defined, so that's line 64. Ah, yes. Reset password, confirm. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and build this. So npm run build, and then I can test out whether resetting the password works. All right, there we go. So it built, so we should have an updated build in here. So I'm going to navigate to localhost on um, port 8000 here. And then I can go to the login and then say I forgot my password. I can go to the reset password. I'm going to send that to John Doe 1357915. I'm going to go ahead, click reset password. That should have fired off that dispatch. So password reset success. Okay, so that worked. So we should get an email. Let's go ahead and refresh this. All right, there we go. So I have a password reset on this link. Okay, so here we have the link that we click on. So we have the UID right here and the token. 
And there we go. So we have new password, confirm new password. So I'm going to just set a new password here. I'm going to click reset password. I can close this one. And now we should get another email to confirm that. So I have these two fields. And then we have the on submit. And that should have run this reset password confirm. And that's what went wrong. So reset password confirm. We have to bring that in. Okay. So I'm going to have to rebuild this and do this again. So. All right, now let's give this another go. So we're going to do the login or reset password here. Let's request that. There we go. And I'm going to set the new password here. So do that. Let's see. Password reset confirmed success we got. Perfect. And now we should have gotten the confirmation email. There it is. Your password has been successfully changed. So now we know that this actually worked. And we can go ahead and log in now. So we're going to test the old password. I'm going to do log in. And the old password doesn't work. But if we do the new password I just made, there we go, we're logged in. All right, awesome. So we can now go to the state. We see we have our access refresh token. We're authenticated and we have our user information here. So perfect. It all works. So I hope you enjoyed this section. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And I'll see you in the next section where we're going to implement the sign up. And then after that, we're going to do the verification. All right. So thank you.